that there are those of you who are putting forth effort, but you're not getting anywhere. That you're putting forth effort, amen, but you're putting forth human effort and God wants you to stop. I'm past trying to fool myself and say, Eric, you can do this. No, you cannot. If it's paperwork, you're gonna need to bring somebody in, some backup. Not because you don't know how to do it, but you don't have the spirit to do it. There's a spirit on me that's like, let's go. My wife said, when you go to Atlanta and preach this time, don't do two hours. I got the spirit to do three. Amen. But when I speak, the reason why I have someone, because the, the spirit is with me. And God is telling me to tell some of you that you're working on your relationships. You're trying to get in a relationship, but you're not doing it in the spirit. So that's why you're not getting a lot of success. I messed up bad, but we got to get something where we can get together and we can pray with you guys until you're strong enough to do it on your own. Hey Amen. Some of you are working and you're using you're using man's tips and or like you're going online. You like the nine ways to. For real, you ain't prayed about it. You didn't went to the job interview. You not you have not prayed about it. You ain't asked God nothing. You ain't asked the Lord to be with you. You just went in the job interview with your resume and was like, I, this should be enough. He was like, I got my resume, my degree, and my work experiences. I know I got the job, but you didn't take the spirit. You didn't take the spirit with you. And so whenever you go in the flesh, you can't guarantee that you're going to get victory. And so the word of God said that they were, they was walking. Like they weren't just chilling. They weren't watching TV, playing video games. They were actually working. They were actually climbing the mountain. They were actually doing it for multiple days, for multiple weeks, for multiple months, for years. They walking around in the desert. Hey Amen. I want to help you real quick. We about to go there, but I want you to think about that thing that just be, you've been doing it too long. What's that thing in your life? God said, y'all been doing this too long. Y'all have been going around the mountain. You've been over in the mountain all this time. You've been on this mountain for years. The, the truth is real. 40 years wandering. God said, do me a favor. You've been on this. You've been in this. I just came back. You still washing jacket. Came back three out of You still washing dishes? You still doing your homework? What kind of homework you got? That's 10 hours. You still doing the same thing. The word of God says that there's an area in your life. You've been on it too long. It don't take that long to get financially free. It don't take that long to get your credit score up. It don't take that long to fix that thing in your marriage. It don't take that long, father, to get right with your daughter. It don't take that long to get right with your son. It don't take that long. God says you have compassed this mouth long enough. Long enough. Your banker, you've been living from check to check long enough. You've been faking it and putting on the front long enough. He said, turn. That's it. He said, turn. That's all I need you to do. You've been doing this. Now I need you to do me a favor. Turn. Just turn. And don't just turn. Oh, I got three, four slides for you. Don't just turn. He said, when you turn, turn northward. King, your relationship going all the way up. And nothing can stop you. You're the only one that can stop you. Can y'all do me a favor? When you blow up, though, don't stop coming to spiritual development. Like, for real, when you broke now, you're going through it right now, you're here. Some of y'all going to blow up and be like, I'm good. I don't need God no more. I got what I wanted. Don't do that. Don't do it. When you blow up, I need you to do me a favor. When you blow up, get your butt back here and bring somebody and say, it worked. I'm grateful that my wife can finally sit in first class and get a meal. Children are in first class and this is not a standard. I'm grateful that my son is going to college and he doesn't have to take out a loan. I got tired. I got tired of being like giving 70 and 80 percent and not living the way I want to live. And this guy got tired. I see other people winning and I'm not winning and I want to be a winner and I'm tired and I got tired, y'all. So I did something about it.
I woke up every day and started grinding. I was tired. What happened? I started giving 120. And so my wife started giving 120. She got on that new drug and she changed her diet. And now we working out every day and it's a whole new swag. No, hear what I'm trying to tell you. You're trying to do stuff that other people are doing. Find out what moves you and do that. Because if it moves you, I guarantee you it's going to move the people you're trying to attract. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Some of y'all doing stuff that don't move you. Honestly, how many of y'all got jobs that when you walk in on Monday morning, it does not move you? That being real, you're not moved by it. Why are you doing it? Somebody told you you had to do it to get a check. But the reality is when you do what you are authentically created to do, you make more money and your influence is different when you are authentic to yourself. When you start switching the game up and adapting to be what other people want you to be. Don't spend your time making money. Spend time honing that craft. That's what I want you to do. Me and my wife would get into it because I'm a high I and I like to share my opinions. My wife is a high D, she likes to share facts. So we used to get into it because I used to share my opinion. I don't share my opinion no more, let's ask. So bro, I stopped sharing my opinion and we'll never get into it no more. I realized we only get into it when I share with her and she ain't asked for it. Get a honing routine. The problem with some of you, you start working on your craft and then you work for it on 30 days and on the 31st day you stop. And then you come back to it 40 days later and then you stop and do it 10 days and you come back, I need you to do me a huge favor. I, I need you to get a honing routine. Do not do what you can do because you can do it. Only do what you are gifted to do. Just because you're the CEO, just because you're the president, just because you're the mama, just because you're the daddy, just because you're the pastor, just because you sweet on the team, it does not give you the right to stick your nose in areas where it's not your superpower. This is a blueprint that works. Follow the steps. Do not do what you want to do when you want to do it. That's what got your butt to where you are right now. As I leave you, that's what got your butt there right now. Doing what you're doing right now. Stop doing what you're doing. It's not working. Quit. Abandon ship. Stop. Stop! Just because it's you, don't make it right because it's you. Stop! Do what we tell you to do exactly like we tell you to do it. And if it don't work, I'm going to give you your money back. But do me a favor. Don't add your stuff to our stuff. Don't add your stuff to our stuff. Do as we tell you to do, not because we hate you. Do what we tell you to do because we love you. And CJ made sure it worked first before he brought it to the world. Y'all ready to make your next move your best move?